Kevin voted early. The rules have changed about what Minnesotans can wear to the polls. What are you allowed to wear and what do you have to keep outside? Good question. Heather Brown spoke with an election law expert. What can and can't you wear to the polls now? All right, so yes, the law has changed. The United States Supreme Court weighed in on this issue. Now, basically, you can wear lots of things to express yourself under the First Amendment. In June, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down a Minnesota law that banned voters from wearing anything political at the polls. So the state had to clarify the rules. So it really is just about this that day, what's on the ballot that day. Exactly. Now the Secretary of State's office says no campaign t-shirts, buttons, or literature which relate to specific candidates, official political parties, or ballot questions on the ballot that day. Are we talking hats and shirts? Hats, shirts, buttons, stickers, tattoos even. You would have to cover it up if it was a problem. So obviously no Minnesota DFL t-shirts or Jeff Johnson t-shirts, but right. let's do a little round robin. Oh boy. Hashtag me too. Yes. An Obama t-shirt. Yes. This, this election? Yes. How about a Make America Great Again hat? This election? Yes. Uh-huh. But if President Trump runs again in 2020, then in 2020, no, because it's very closely tied to his campaign. It's his campaign slogan. It is clearly related to his campaign. So what about this one that's come up in the past couple of years? The ballot selfie. Minnesota is one of those states that does allow it. But the Secretary of State's office discourages it. They don't want you to hold up the lines, and then there's the issue of privacy. You are not allowed to take a picture of somebody else in a polling place without their per express permission. So if you happen to take that selfie and you get someone in the frame who's not you, that could be a problem. You can bring in research materials, even a filled out sample ballot. But if it's a party or a candidate affiliated one, you can't show it around to people in the polling place because that could be considered campaigning. Best bet, just keep that stuff to yourself. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. The Wisconsin statute prohibits political clothing, but doesn't specify exactly what that means. Election judges say just ask voters, don't do anything to influence another person's vote. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wccocom links.